In today's video, I am going to show you how to insert a Google Slides presentation into your daily Canvas module. Now, I have found by using Google Slides, instead of going and creating all the different pages and assignments and things like that in Canvas, that using a Google Slide makes it really easy to edit if I need to, and it automatically changes those, um, makes those changes onto my um, Canvas page without me having to go and change anything into Canvas. So the first thing you wanna do is you want to create your Google Slides. So I'm gonna go into my Google Drive. I'm going to click right here. I'll let the class link work, there we go, on new. And I want to come down here to where it says Google Slides. Now Google Slides is a lot like PowerPoint, okay? However, it's just in Google. So I wanna name my presentation and we'll call this Math 11-23-2020, okay? And then if you have created folders within Google um, to save your slides or your documents in, this is where you would go right here to the little folder so that you could put it in the um, designated folder that you wanted it to go into. So anyway, I am going to, let's see, I'm, you don't have to delete these little boxes, I just do. And I'm gonna draw my own text box. I'm gonna go to insert, text box, and just draw me a text box. There we go. So let's say on my daily checklist, uh, the first thing that I want them to do is to, uh, let's see, complete daily entrance ticket for Monday. Um, let's say the second thing that I want them to do, and this is just an example, but the second thing I want them to do is to get with your shoulder buddy and discuss today's entrance ticket. Okay, that's enough to show you what we're going to do today. All right. So now here's the part of how to embed it into a Canvas module. So I am going to go over to my Canvas page. I've already got my Canvas page pulled up. I'm gonna go to my math. This is where I want it to go. And I'm going to go under modules. Now, let's say that I wanted to create a new page to put this presentation in under, under my Monday. So I am going to go to my module Monday Click the plus sign, and what I'm going to be adding to my Monday module is a page. So I want to go up here to the top where it says add, and then you have the drop down box, and I want to click on page, and then I want to click right there where it says new page, and then I want to name this page. And let me just call this Monday practice page. Okay, so I went up here, I've added a page, I've clicked right here to make that blue and said new page, and then when I do that, it'll make me give it a page name. And then I'm gonna click add item. Now, you know right here to click that means to publish it so that people who were in this course can see it, but you don't have to do that right yet. So I'm going to come right here on that Monday practice page, and you see there's nothing there, it's empty. So I'm going to click on edit. Now when I click on edit, I'm gonna get a text box like this that I can write things in. And to insert a Google slide, you don't wanna write anything in right here. You want to actually click on the little, it looks like a film strip with a um, triangle on the inside and it says insert slash edit media. You want to click on that. And once you get on this page, a little box shows up like this. It says General, Embed, and Advanced. And you want to click right here in the middle where it says Embed. 
Now, when you click on this page, this little tab, it says place, paste your embedded code below. So I just like to go ahead and put my cursor right there. Now, without clicking anything else on this page, I'm going to go back up to my Google Slides tab at the top of my page, click it. So I'm back here on this little short Google Slide presentation that we made. All right, now I want to publish this to my page. So I'm going to come up here to File, click it, scroll down right here where it says Publish to the Web, and you want to click that. Now once you click that, another dialog box comes up. It says Publish to the Web, and you have two choices. You have Link and then Embed. You want to click Embed, and you want to click Publish. Now, when you click Publish, Embed, and then Publish, this little um, notification box comes up that says, are you sure you want to publish this selection? And click OK. Now, when you do that, automatically, this page comes up, and it's already highlighted in blue, and it tells you to hit Control-C. Now, when you hit Control-C, it's going to copy everything right there in blue. And again, you don't have to highlight it. It's already highlighted for you. Now I have hit Control C. This is copied. And now I'm going to go back without clicking off of anything. I'm going to go back to that Canvas page. So click right here on that tab. Now in this box, this text box right here, I am now going to paste everything that I just copied. So I'm going to hit Control V. And you'll see all these weird letters and words come up. Once you paste that information right there, you just want to click on OK. Now, when you click OK, the slide presentation that we made in Google Slides automatically comes up. And so you want to scroll down to the bottom and you can either hit Save or if you want to go ahead and publish it, you can hit Save and Publish. I'm just going to hit Save. Now, when I do that, my checklist is already there for my students to go to. And let's say that I decided that I wanted to add more things to my Monday practice page checklist. All I have to do is go back to that Google Slides presentation, go ahead and exit off of this. I'm back on that presentation page. And let's say that I want to add to this checklist and I want to say, let's see, come get a practice worksheet from me. Okay, let's say I wanted to add a third step for them to do that day. I don't have to do any more publishing because this page is already published to my Canvas page. Okay, all I have to do is go back to my Canvas page and I have one of two ways to make it show up right here on their page. I can either go back to modules, click on that page, Monday practice page, and it will automatically show up without me having to do anything. Or if I wanted to do a, an easier, shorter way, all I would have to do is come up here to the refresh button or reload this page and it would automatically just show up. Let me show you how that works. So I'm gonna go back to my Google slide presentation, that tab, and let's say that I wanna add a fourth thing. Um, let's see. Uh, let's say that I want to tell them that for the practice worksheet, they can get the following supplies. So let's see, let's get the following supplies. Um, let's, whoops, well. All right, let's take this back. Okay, maybe I want them to um, get your dry erase board marker and eraser for group work. All right, so that's the fourth thing that I've added on there for them to do. All right, so 
I'm going to go back to my Canvas page. And instead of going back to modules and doing it that way, now I'm just going to hit the reload page and show you how that number four just automatically shows up on this page. And there it is. It's automatically there. So I hope this helps to show you a different way that you can publish your, your daily checklist for your students on Canvas for their virtual work. Or you can use this for anything that you want to if you want to make a Google Slide presentation and then post it into Canvas. Um, if you have a different way that you do it, please share it with me. I would love to learn from you guys the different ways that you are posting your Google Slide presentations into Canvas, and then I will share, share it out with others. All right, thank you, and see you soon.